Okay, so seriously, Tristan Jari is done. Is that what it is? He wins his first, what, four games, then he loses his next five. He wins last night and still gets negative points for the sixth straight game. What the hell is going on with the Penguins and their goaltending? DeSmith, what is it, Casey DeSmith? He gets shelled last night, or not last night, but whatever game before that, he gets shelled too. Does Pittsburgh not have a defense? I didn't see the game. Um, I was so disgusted I didn't even watch highlights because he gave up four goals. This is what, his fifth his fifth game out of his last six that he's given up four or more goals. I understand that uh, the last goal was given up with about eight seconds left, but that figures. Um, he almost, almost had an 85% save percentage. Almost. Not quite. Almost. So I actually thought, and I'm going to go over with it, go, to, go over with you briefly. <whistles> Got to calm down. Okay. Um, I thought my fantasy team was actually going to be pretty good this year. Actually better than it was the previous year. Don't ever draft goaltenders uh, in the first round. Waste your time. Okay. At least that's what it looks like so far. I understand that I'm a little heated up right now. I understand that things can change. It's still early. But, you know, goaltending was not my problem early on in the season. I have Andre Vasilevsky, Tristan Jari, and Frederick Anderson. Frederick Anderson's on the IR. Tristan Jari can't even get positive points when he wins. And although Vasilevsky did play well last night, he had 39 saves out of 40 shots. And he had a big-time game against Calgary. He's up to 1.9 fantasy points. And I'm in the ESPN Standard Scoring League season point total. I hate head-to-head. -head. Can't stand head-to-head. -head. I just I can't stand it. It is what it is. One point, he's up to 1.9. He was at 3.1. Uh, let me just check that real quick. Um, he, they, all my goalies were above 3. So he was at 3.1. Tristan Jerry was 3.3. He'll never see the light of day again. And Frederick Anderson was 3.8. They were all, all three of them were my worst players by average. So Frederick Anderson's 1.5. Tristan Jerry's 1.2, that's with the win last night. And Vasilevsky, like I said, is up to 1.9 because he had like 9.8 or 9.6, something like that last night. Uh, he played great last night. It's nice to see finally because he's been struggling. He doesn't even have a 900 save percentage yet. Um, neither does Frederick Anderson. God forbid Tristan Jari gets above 88 or 89 at this point. Um, they're my three worst players. Drafted Vasilevsky, I think fourth overall. Uh, Tristan Jari was up there. He was my fourth round pick. Frederick Anderson might have been my third or second. Fifth. Wow, I'm surprised he's actually fifth. Oh, I, I was taking a couple defensemen. And my defensemen are actually pretty decent. Don't draft, don't, don't draft goaltending too early. Okay, because the guy that's leading this league right now, and I don't know what the hell, he's, he's playing every single guy as much as possible on his team. So anybody that anybody that's on his bench that has games to be played, he just moves them right up. Doesn't matter what they're averaging. I mean, he's got uh, Kucherov. Wouldn't you like to see a full 82-game season of Nikita Kucherov? Not that he's going to play full 82 games, but you get my point, right? He's screwing himself because he's going to be left without any players, without any games to be played at the end of the season and he's not going to get a full season out of his best players. Of course, it might not matter because um, my goaltending sucks. And uh, his team, he's got Carter Hart, Linus Allmark now. He didn't draft any of these guys. Uh, Vanich is it Vanacek? Vitek Vanacek. Didn't, didn't look uh, to see how to pronounce his name before I started this video because I'm too heated up. Uh, Vita, Vitek Vanacek, New Jersey. Hey, that's a good that's a good deal. He got him off the waiver wire. Carter Hart was on the waiver wire. Linus Allmark's on the waiver wire, or he was, and he got Logan Thompson off the waiver wire, I believe. Um, they're averaging 4.6, 5.4, 3.5, 3.5, 3.7. Now, because he's got Elo Sampson off too, who just got on the IR. Now, I don't think they're going to hold up, but he's crushing me crushing me in goaltending with that lineup right now. 
and I have Frederick Anderson, Tristan Jari, and Vasilevsky. Apparently, I thought too highly of them, okay? But, I mean, you look at his team. I mean, he's got Kucherov. He's got Pasternak, um, Jack Hughes. He's got some, you know, hints he's got from Dallas. I'm going to say it's Rupe hints, but I, I'm probably way off in that pronunciation. Um, he's excellent. He's got eight goals and 14 assists. He's excellent. He's averaging 2.7 points a game. Um, but then he's got other guys that, look, I, I'm not saying they're bad guys, but Adam Larson, 1.8. Giordano from Toronto, 1.5. Uh, Segun, Tyler Segun from Dallas, 1.5. Tyson Berry, Edmonton, 1.8. Um, and he'll just play anybody, um, regardless. He'll, he just plays every single guy. He's got three positions, uh, outpacing limits. The only one he doesn't is utility. He's plus 56, plus 21, and plus four right now. He, he must have played 50 more, 50 more games uh, skating-wise than I have, and he's leading me by, like, I don't know, 100 points or something like that, maybe more. Um, and it's, like I said, mainly because of my goaltending. So anyways, I don't even know what the heck I started this um, video for. I guess just to rant and see if anyone out there is going through the same bullshit that I am because this is ridiculous, okay? What the hell is up with Pittsburgh, okay? Play some defense. I have Chris Letang on my, uh, on my team. He's, he's solid. He's solid, okay? So what is going on? I saw them uh, against Boston. Uh, I watched the game. I turned it off when it was 5-2, to two, and they lost 6-5 to five in Pittsburgh. What the hell is going on? Seriously, please. Can somebody out there tell me? I'm talking to the world here. Please tell me why the Penguins cannot play defense right now. Okay, because early on, Jari won his first four starts. Okay, so please tell me why Jari um, cannot even get positive points when he wins and when Pittsburgh is going to play some defense and not allow like four or five goals per game. Okay, help me out, please. So I think that will end the rant. Please, answer that question.